our final problem is Fignano's problem. The problem is to inscribe in a given acute angled triangle a triangle of minimal perimeter. Now we use calculus in uh, Reggio Montanus and this would be another place where uh, we see the word minimal and our mind might jump immediately to, to calculus. Um, and so uh, let me let my mind jump to calculus with this problem. So let's do a given triangle and we'll make it acute, acute angle, acute, as we're not choose here, um, and we'll give it, we'll specify the side lengths A, B and C. Now to inscribe a triangle of minimal perimeter, so here's I'll inscribe a triangle, so this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to put a little triangle in there. And we need to specify where that where that triangle is. So let me just specify that this length is A is sorry D not D. E. And F. Um, we can now take the. Let's create a polygon there, and we can ask for the perimeter of the polygon. And we'll get that. Now we'd like to. Copy that again into Maple. Now we really we need to know that we've actually got three variables here that we'd like to uh, to play with. It's D, E, and F, the, the location of the the three different points on that inscribed uh, on that inscribed triangle. Um, and so to find the minimum, we'd write, we want to find a we want to find values of all of all three of those which give an absolute minimum. So we'd like to what we need to do is differentiate with respect to all three of them, and uh, find a find a location where all three of the derivatives um, are zero. So let me do that. We'll we'll call the three derivatives dx, not dx, dd, call it dd. There's the derivative of. Um, and actually, let me just back up here. First of all, let's give a name to that perimeter. We'll call it p. Here's the above. Now, first of all, I'm going to check. Let's just call it D P call it D P D is the derivative of P with respect to D. And that's going to look like that. Uh, D P E, the derivative of P with respect to E, something like that, and D P F, the derivative of P with respect to F, something like that. So what we'd like to do is solve three things. D P D D P D equals zero. D P E equals zero. And D P F equals zero. So we solve all of those three things equal to zero. Um, for three variables, D, E, and F. Now, Maple is going to take a little bit of time for this. Last time I measured it, no, not too much time. Um, we can see um, there are, there's one solution here, one solution here, one solution here. We've got three different solutions. 
Now these solutions, the first two solutions have e equals e, f equals f, so they're, they're solutions that are true for any value of e and f. I'll have a look at that in a second, but let's look at the, the third solution that looks pretty interesting. It's got a specific value for d, a specific value for e, and a specific value for f. So let me just grab that, so the, uh, grab it piecemeal. First the d part. So we'll replace d by that. I don't really want it to keep computing the, the perimeter every time I do that, so that's that's my D. Uh, grab the E part. And let's grab the F part here. And so there is my um, minimal location. Let me just, well actually I haven't proved it's minimal, uh, I've proved it's, it, it's uh, either a maximum or a minimum and that's a, a, another thing to do. Uh, but let me just draw the lines which are connecting the the um, vertices of my inscribed triangle. And as I change the original triangle, do you notice anything about those three lines? There is something to notice if we ask for the angle between uh, the line and the opposite side of the triangle. Um, we see that that's in fact pi by 2, it's a 90 degree uh, angle. So in fact the uh, these are the bases of the um, altitudes and that is uh, actually the name of the theorem is the altitude base theorem that says that this is the minimal perimeter uh, triangle you can create. Um, going back to Maple, we did have a couple of other solutions. Um, now, I wonder what those solutions actually are. Um, let me let me go back and uh, and try one of them. This is this one's got a specific value for d, but it's got any value for e and f. So let's return back to where we have our e and f's. So there, I've got my uh, example with d, e, and f, but that we just copied from Maple. Uh, this value where e can be anything, f can be anything, and d is a specific thing. And let's see if we can see what that is. Ah. So this um, looks like a degenerate situation that we've created. It's a situation where um, we say e l does lie on on this line, but it's uh, as we as we move f we can around, we can see it's the de degenerate situation where the triangle collapses to a straight line. So that was Fagnano's problem uh, inscribing in a given acute angle triangle a triangle of minimal perimeter.